Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and this is verb phrase 294. The verb phrase today is pan out, and we have three meanings and three uses. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot? Do it right now. Let's get right to it. All right, here's the first one. To turn out or work out well. So if we say something pans out, that means it worked out successfully. So here's the first example. I hope this job pans out for you. So you don't actually even have to say well here because here it's assumed that if you say it pans out that you mean it in the good way, that it works out for you. Uh, second one, it didn't pan out the way I hope. So of course you could use it in the negative meaning it did not work out well the way I hope. Alright, here's the second one. The second one is more general, to have a specified use. So it, in this case it doesn't always have to be positive. Uh, we were lucky our strategy panned out well. So here you kind of have to say it. Your expectations did not pan out well. Okay. And the third one is to do with either like either photography or filming. Uh, and it basically means to zoom out to a wider uh, angle. Okay. Uh, so here they say uh, pan out so you get more of this beautiful background in the shot. So make the scene wider so you can see more. All right, and here we just kind of cover the idea of the origin, where it came from. Uh, this verb phrase derived from prospectors, you know, those who are trying to dig for gold, uh, washing gold off the gravel that they dug out. So in this case, if they found some, then they really found some gold, so that was a success. Thus, it worked out. And the search was a success. So it panned out. They found the, some gold and they were able to wash it off, wash it off the gravel, and they had some gold. It panned out. By the late 1800s, the phrase started to refer to anything successful. Okay. Hope you got it. Hope's clear. Hope's informative. Thank you for your time. Bye bye.